What's going on, YouTube? Chevy Life 85 back with another video. And today, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be replacing the alternator. We're gonna be replacing the alternator in the Tahoe. You already see that I started it. Got the alternator pulled off, the uh, engine cover and the breather, the intake, air intake. That's the old alternator. New McMahon 400 amp alternator. Uh, got a lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing today, so it is gonna be broken down to a couple videos. Big three kit, zero gauge, ground, and um, power Y OFC for the second battery. Love nuts, crimping tube. Low power and ground wire, fuse adapter, uh, battery terminals, and X power battery terminals for the battery, heat strength, fuses. So, we about to put in that work. I do think I'm gonna have to get a smaller battery for my alternator. I'm not sure yet. Um, so what we doing now, we already got the alternator out. So now I'm just gonna um, modify some things so I can put everything back in there like it was. One is I'm gonna drill this hole out some more so the um, cable can go through because I am upgrading the power cable to the alternator. So I'm gonna sit you down real quick while I get that set up. Go in there quite perfect. So I'm gonna clean this up cause that's dirty and I don't like how they look. So I'm gonna clean that up. So I'm gonna let that four hundred nine sit on them and get that cleaned up. Um, the reason why I'm changing the battery cable is because one factory cable is too little. Two. Uh, the power supply for the cable is farther over on the McMahon. And three, with more power, bigger cable. So, and this is the reason McMahon provide this, uh, hopefully as a focus, Provide a new lug nut so you know to replace the wire. So I'm gonna take this off as well and put it on the new cable. And then this right here, so how my Tahoe is set up, it's set up for a two pin. So I'm gonna run this one. I gotta run this one instead of a two pin. Um, and then and then plug this into the two pin to make it as if it's in there. So this will plug in like that. So it's gonna make it as if the alternator is plugged up and not send a bad signal. And I'ma zip tie it off probably over here somewhere um, and stick it back under the cover. And then I'ma run this 
to a 12 volt. That's why I got the fuse extender. So we gonna run that to ignition fuse, which is this one right here. So we're gonna put the fuse extender in there and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And then just plug both fuses in there. But let me take it out. Sorry. Plug the fuses in. So I'm gonna get everything set back up. This camera don't like to focus. So I'm going to get it set back up, get that put back in, then I'm going to cut you back on. All right, guys, I'm back, and I got the alternator installed. I got everything hooked back up. You can see where I upgraded the uh, power wire to the alternator. And I put this back on there. I just got to slide it all the way up. Um, the amp wire ran to the fuse box, ran into the fuse splitter, and then this is the uh two pin bypass because this is a four pin, so this is a two pin bypass. Got it zip tied down, got everything hooked back up. Cranks up, no issues. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment, and we out.